Welcome to another video guys. Today I'm going to be talking about the Black Rapid Sports uh, Breathe camera strap. That's a mouthful. Um, the pros and the cons and I'm going to show you how it works and why I bought it while in quarantine. I guess it's uh, one of those purchases that you've been waiting for a long time and I just got it this week. So yeah, comes in a box. Let's go open it and see what, what's inside. Obviously there's the strap inside. It's already pretty much ready to go. Uh, there's a little pouch, little safety cable, a sticker if you want, and instructions, just a little guide. And that's pretty much it. So since the camera is pretty much ready to go, the strap even, I'm gonna show you how it works. Before I do that though, let me record something else. So standard camera strap, right? The one that comes with every camera. Just put it in as so, or to the side, however you wanna do it. There's always some strain here on your neck, no matter what you do, right? If you have a, a long lens, right? That you have on your shoulder with a monopod, or just carrying two lenses and other bags, your hands are not too free, right? Because this is always hanging here. If you want to take a picture, you need to put everything else aside and you need to grab and then go, right? So let's just do a speed comparison. If you have it on the side because you're carrying other stuff, then you need to get ready and go. Okay, so now that I have the camera body without any strap at all, I'm gonna show you how to use the Black Rapid. So once you pick it up, you can see uh, the logo that should always be to the front. So you just put it in like so, and one of your arms goes in like this, okay? Now, you can tighten this around your armpit so it doesn't move much. And then you have two fasteners, one here and one on the back. What this does is when the camera is attached, it will only go up to here, and it will go only up to the point where you set the other one to. If you set it, say on the back and you move this one to the bottom as well like so and you tighten both then you can walk around with the camera behind your back so it doesn't bump into people in case you don't want to have it on your side but the usual way people use this when they're shooting obviously is to have this one at the top like like here and the other one at the bottom to your side okay so now I'm gonna use the fastener that goes on the tripod mount and I just tighten this there as so like that there's a Caribbean I'm gonna show you that you can use as a safety thing okay here yeah this clips okay so it's secure, it doesn't move. Let's do a test then. So when I'm ready, I just grab, take pictures, and I can let go, it'll stay there, okay? Now I have both my hands free to move around and do whatever I want. Now there are cons to having the camera strap, obviously, because the strap itself locks in place on your tripod mount uh, place. If you wanna put your camera on a tripod, you need to take it, this out first, okay? The other obvious uh, con is the price. It's an extra expense to already having a, a strap that comes with a camera. But overall, for sports photography, uh, especially before and after the matches, so when you're walking around taking pictures of the players, usually having uh, the long lens on your shoulder, a backpack, whatever you wanna have both hands free Having a camera strap allows you to do that. If you need to grab on to take a picture with this camera, you do, and then you just let go and it stays in place. Um, if you're sitting down during the match, then maybe it's not uh, as useful because you can just place it in front of you. But I have seen photographers that have a camera strap even while sitting down. Uh, that way they're ready to go at any, any moment when they get up. 
There you go. Boom. Done. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you use a camera strap as well? Did you like this video? I can't wait to use it in real life because uh, right now we're still in quarantine. Uh, but May 5th, maybe there's some news from the government. We'll see if anything opens up. If not, then we'll just keep doing what we're doing and better days will come, I'm sure. This is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe, guys.